Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon, maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay mo po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagagampanan, naway maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasama. Amen. Good morning, my dear grade 12 Valenzuelanos. Welcome to Contemporary Philippine Arts from the Regions. I'm Ms. Geraldine Villarreal from Valenzuela National High School, your art angel for today. Listen. Learn and engage as we explore the various contemporary Philippine art forms and their practices from the various region. Before we begin, I would like to remind you of the following. First, prepare your pen, your notebook, and learning module. Second, observe proper netiquette and use the chat box in answering questions. Lastly, participate, have fun, and stay focused on our discussion. Today's most essential learning competency is to compare forms of arts from the different regions. Are you familiar with this structure? You can use your comment section for your answer. Very good! Our very own Museo Valenzuela, Historical and Cultural Center of Valenzuela City. The museum that features a memorabilia exhibit and a diorama of the life of our hero, Dr. Pio Valenzuela. Today, we will familiarize ourselves in the different contemporary art forms and practices from different regions in our country. To start with, let us identify the place where each artwork is popular and celebrated by province festival. You may place your answer on our comment section. Are you ready? Let's have the first one. Very good! Singkabat or Bamboo Festival in Bulacan. Let's have the next slide. Excellent! Pahiyas in Quezon Province. Let's have another slide. That is great. Pintados in Tacloban. Let's have the last one. You've done so well. You got it right. Minasa of Bustos. Did you get all the answers correct? If so, hit the heart react. There are regions in the Philippines that showcase their artworks in their festivals. One example is the Singkaban Festival in Bulacan and Pahiyas in Quezon Province. What image do you see on the screen? Please type your answer in the comment section. Yes, it is the Manunggul Jar. One of our greatest pamana in our cultural heritage. Philippine pottery has been one of the longest tradition in our Philippine culture. Evidence of the early pottery making is found in Sangga Sangga, Sulu, and Laurenta Cave in Cagayan. Pottery is used as an earthenware for cooking 
and storage container. Our designs are seen in the pottery objects such as geometric cut, molding, and cording. These pottery traditions continue like the Burnai and glazed pottery in Vigan, Batangas, Leyte, and Bohol. Painting is also popular part of art in the Philippines. We have the tattoo tradition that started from our early Filipinos since the pre-colonial. The pintados art for the purpose of ornamentation and rite of passage. Miranao painting is also a good example of art painting in the Philippines, Naga Dragon and Sarimano are best examples. We have early modernist painters such as Damian Domingo, Juan Luna, and Felix Hidalgo. Elito Circa, another contemporary painter who gained recognition because of his technique by using his hair as his brush and a stroke of his blood in a certain corner of his painting. Many Filipino painters were influenced by this and started using this material such as an extract from onion, tomato, tuba, coffee, molasses, and other materials available anywhere. What image can you see? You can chat your answers in the chat box. Sarimano, a popular Meranao art, is a well-known design. It represents a fowl wings, feathered tail, and a head decorated with ornaments of scrolled, and painted motif of leaves, spirals, and feather-like forms. Are you familiar with this one? You can chat your answers in the chat box. That is the binacol of the Itneg people. They were known for their intricate woven fabrics which features designs that incorporate optical illusions. Woven fabrics of the Gadam people usually bright red tones. Other people such as the Ilongot make jewelry from pearl, red, red horn big bill, plants, and metals. Their weaving can also be identified by beaded ornamentation. The Lumad people of Mindanao, such as the Balaan, Mandaga, Mansaka, and Tiboli, are skilled in the art of dyeing abaca fiber. Abaca is the plant closely related to bananas, and its leaves are used to make fiber known as Manila hair. The fiber is dyed by a method called ikat. Ikat fibers are woven into cloth with geometric patterns depicting human, animal, and plant leaves. Do you know that there is a chair that symbolizes your social status in the society? This is Tagabi, a wooden chair of Ipugao, which symbolizes his status as a citizen in their community. It depicts the wealth and power of the owner who is called Kadanagyan, or a person who belongs to the higher status in their society. Only the rich can afford to own it. Together, a ritual act 
after the completion of their chair. This chair is made of nara or ipil-ipil and the original design is called ginulding gulding meaning a goat-like head. At present, hagabi may have different shapes. One end, which is called niwi, it is like the head of an animal with an elongated nose and two big ears. This kind of art has two main artistic styles. One is carved line, wood carving and metal working called okir, similar to the Middle Eastern Islamic art. This style is associated with men. An okir design, the scroll, is the dominant feature in men's work composed of various spiral forms. In contrast, the zigzag and the angular forms are the dominant motifs in women's geometric art, okir abai, ladies' design. The most popular of the malong style is the land cap, which is either dominantly red, yellow, green, blue, or violet. Kutkut is a technique combining Oriental and European art processes. Very few known art pieces exist today. The techniques were depicted and practiced by the indigenous people of Samar. Kutkut is an exotic Philippine art form based on early century techniques is Gapito. Isn't it nice? Creativity and resourcefulness are inherent among the Filipinos of the past and the present through a traditional art techniques such as painting in potteries and as body ornament. Before we end our discussion, let us see how much you have learned from our today's lesson. Identify the images that is flashed on screen. Write your answers in our comment section. You have five seconds to answer. Are you ready? Let's try this one. Yes, you are correct. Manunggul char. Next on your screen. Very good. Okir. How about this one? You got it right. Sari mano. Try this one for five seconds. Very good. Hagabi. And lastly, Excellent, is Grafito. I hope you enjoy and learn something from today's discussion. If you still have questions and points of clarifications regarding our topic for today, you can ask your respective subject teacher in your follow-up session. So my dear Valenzuelanos, always keep in mind that arts, in various or different forms, persuade each one of us to be a better and finer version of ourselves because we are an art piece, a masterpiece of God. Thank you for watching and listening. Once again, I'm your art angel, Geraldine Villarreal, na nagsasabing, Ating mundo'y gawing makulay. Keep safe. God bless.